Welcome back to the Morning Blend. Did you know that preterm delivery is the number one cause of neonatal death and disability? Statistics show it occurs in one in eight births nationally and one in seven here in Clark County. The costs are in the millions with postnatal estimates in the billions. Our next guest can help you predict if the baby is at risk with ways to prevent this from happening. And joining us today with more is Dr. Lara Gorski, a maternal fetal med medicine specialist with the High Risk Pregnancy Center. How are you? Good morning. I'm good. Thank you. Welcome. So, so preterm birth, what are the things that contribute to preterm birth? The risk factors that are associated with preterm birth include, most importantly, a history of a preterm birth. Also, a short cervix, cervical procedures, mm -hmm. um, uterine anomalies, multiple gestations, polyhydramnios, which is an increased amount of fluid, uh, vaginal bleeding and inadequate prenatal care all contribute to preterm birth. Are these things that we can also control or are these things out of our hands? Some of them are things that we, we do have control over and that mm -hmm. we can, um, we can um, cause a difference. Other things, there are other things that, we, that are out of our control. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so the complications uh, of, of, of these things, tell me about it. Complications of prematurity include babies that have intracranial hemorrhage, mm -hmm. um, sepsis, uh, respiratory distress syndrome, um, cerebral palsy, and other lifelong um, disabilities as well. And we also have some pictures um, of a cervix that we want to show people. And from that, can you predict who is going to be potentially at risk by looking yes, at the right. cervix? Yes, um, what you're looking at is um, a picture of a, a transvaginal ultrasound where we measure the cervix. The picture on the right shows a normal cervix and the picture on the left shows a short cervix. Recent studies have shown that if you measure the cervix transvaginally, you can predict which pregnancies are going to deliver premature. If a cervix is over three centimeters, then a preterm delivery is, is essentially um, eliminated at that point. Now, how can we reduce preterm birth in patients that are in high risk? The, the most exciting and uh, recent studies have shown that progesterone reduces um, preterm delivery in high-risk pregnancies. It also sh has shown that if, you, if a patient's cervix is short, mm -hmm. then we can also decrease the risk of preterm delivery by using progesterone. Okay. Um, the other exciting finding is that universal screening is becoming very important right now. Absolutely. And we are, we, um, the High-Risk Pregnancy Center is now screening all patients between 19 and 24 weeks. Um, routinely, and if their cervix is short, we're treating them with progesterone, and we have decreased the um, the risk and um, uh, and neonatal complications of preterm delivery in, in several patients. That's great. So the progesterone is something that the doctor can give to a new mom. Progesterone is a medication that's either given um, as an IM injection weekly or it's given as a suppository nightly. Typically, we like to start around 16 weeks through 36 weeks. Mm -hmm. Now, we have uh, pictures of, uh, of a preemie as well. Tell me about this. Yes, we do. This is um, baby Kyla, mm -hmm. and um, this baby Aww. was born on um, April 17th, weighing 1 pound 11 ounces. No kidding. And um, has undergone multiple procedures, surgery, um, however, um, this is baby Kyla here, oh. and she just went home on Sunday oh, That's great. at 5 great. pounds, 7 ounces. So, so she made a huge recovery by staying in the neonatal intensive care unit and getting Absolutely. treatment. She was in the NICU for 96 days. 96 wow. days. And, and I, by the yeah. way, in that 96 days, wearing awesome ladybug outfits as well. <laughs> Absolutely. Adorable. Very fashionable. Gorgeous, gorgeous baby. <laughs> and you're also involved in the Pregnancy Foundation. Tell us about this uh, foundation and how you give back to other people going to school. The Pregnancy Foundation is a national organization that is aimed to improve pregnancy outcome. Mm -hmm. um, we are, the High Risk Pregnancy Center supports um, supports this charity. We've um, donated $40,000 um, to buy a new ultrasound machine for a clinic that was in need of a machine. Wow. Um, we also um, support the educational goals mm -hmm. of the um, High Risk Pregnancy, or of the um, Pregnancy Foundation. Um, for the upcoming year, and that is to have all women screened and help um, prevent and predict preterm delivery. Absolutely, and the, the high risk pregnancy uh, clinic as well is, is something that uh, you know people in the in the valley would, would need to get in contact with if they are in, in that situation. Absolutely. And for people who just want to know, is everything you know going smoothly with my pregnancy? They can actually come and see you guys too, just to get peace of mind. Absolutely, we do routine screening ultrasounds. Mm -hmm. We also see patients that are at high risk for um, pregnancy, poor pregnancy outcome as well. Absolutely, and how do they get in contact with you? 
Um, they can, typically patients are referred to us from their, from their physicians. They can also call um, our office and, and schedule to see us. Excellent. Yeah. Well, it's a pleasure. Thank you so much for joining us, Doc. Thank you. Thank you. All right, the High Risk Pregnancy Center has two locations in Las Vegas and one in Henderson. To learn more about them, go to hrpregnancy.com or call the number on your screen. They're also on Facebook. Still ahead